Hello and welcome to your 17th UDK tutorial and in this short tutorial I'm just going to talk to you about static meshes. So basically what a static mesh is, is it is a combination of vertices, faces and edges which make up a shape. So instead of using a builder brush and filling it with stuff and using CSG, constructive solid geometry, to make pretty basic brushes what we can actually do is we can use static meshes which are usually made in a program such as 3ds Max or Maya so they're pretty much just 3D models to create more complex shapes so if we just go ahead and go into the content browser because there are loads of static meshes built into the UDK and you can see at the moment I've just got my static meshes filter on now you can scroll through some of these and if we want to drag one on such as these are weird, let's scroll down a little further like this cool looking door drag that on and you'll see there we go we now have a fairly complex shape with a built-in material although we can change that if we want and that's just all in there now if we were to play this level now which obviously wouldn't work out too well uh, the user currently they, pr they probably wouldn't collide with this but if we wanted to set it so they would collide with this we could do that because most static meshes have built in a collision model which tells the program which parts we want the user to be able to collide with but however if we just go up here for example some things don't have a collision model so if it says no collision model all that means is it doesn't come with a built in thing that tells the program which parts the user would collide with so yeah we can do all the normal things with them really we can translate them, rotate them, scale them up and while we're talking of scaling, by the way, um, I'm not sure if I told you about this trick yet, but if you have this number down here, it says draw scale when you ho when you hover your mouse over it, and you can change this number to actually change the scale easily of a static mesh, or it also works if you have a, uh, a CSG brush. So I can change this to 0.5, and that's going to scale that down to 0.5. I can change it to 3, and that's going to scale that up to 3 times. So that is just a useful, useful little uh, trick there that you can do. Anyway, if we go back into the content browser, let's just oops, let's just go to building meshes and add something else. I don't know these storage tanks will do the job. And if we just get this out of the way. Okay, now, first thing, if you don't have, if you're looking around in your um, your other viewports, so your side, your front, and your top, and you go, hang on a minute, like like I've just done in my front one here, you go, hang on a minute, there, there are no static meshes in here, I can't see any. Try pressing W, now this is actually to show and hide, basically, static meshes, so, if you don't see them, that'll be why, probably, try pressing W. So, again, you can just see them in your views and just position them as normal if you want to position this just on top somewhere in the center like there-ish maybe then here we go we can see we've successfully done that and maybe we want to just go ahead and grow this a bit to maybe two times and you'll see voila so static meshes they're really simple we'll probably be making them like a way later date if we start doing things with 3ds max or maya but uh, for the time being, we're probably just going to use the ones built into the UDK, and in the next tutorial, we're going to create a level using static meshes and some CSG. So that's the end of this tutorial, and have a nice day.